What's going on guys? Andy and Randy here with G4 Outdoors. We just got done mowing today. I had 14 on the list to do today, but I had a lot of people calling and texting me saying, hey man, it's dried up, it's hot, it's nasty, go ahead and skip them. So when they start saying skip them, I start counting down the hours of going, hey, you know what? I might be able to go fishing tonight with all these people wanting to skip stuff. So we did about eight today, and now we're getting ready to hit the lake and go do some fishing. Um, today I think we're gonna stick with the same. I'm not going to be doing much bass fishing today. We're going to try to get another monster cat. And when I say monster, I'm talking 100, two, two, 300 pounds. At least. At least. At most, 300. Can we try and get in some good bluegill? We can try. Every time we try, we catch little babies. Yeah, I don't want no short and short. Man. Don't want, don't want, don't want. So let's get the boat loaded up and let's go. Green grass and gum. All right, we didn't film any of the bluegill fishing. Uh, got out here, the sun was kind of starting to go down, so that was a kind of a quick fish and go kind of deal. And uh, I really owe all of the thanks to Andy for being such a master bluegill fisherman. Wife beater and all. The rest is up to me. But no, really, he caught some uh, really good bluegill, and that's going to help us out out here. We do have quite a few smaller ones, but and we got some really nice ones. So we're anchored up. Lines are out, except for this one right here. And the last one in the water. The big bender, the bounty hunter. The bounty hunter. Now you don't have to take my word as gospel, but I am a self-certified YouTube professional catfisherman. So guys, we're back at the same spot we fished last time. We actually called the spot Sherry O'Terry, who was a uh, SNL cast member in the early 2000s and late 90s. Um, yeah, man, it's just the same thing. We got about a bluff on this side that we actually don't even fish the deep water on this side. We haven't had much luck in it. But it goes to probably about 28 to 32 feet and rises up fast where we're at right now at about 15 to 13 foot of water. And then right here behind us on the shoreline, we're probably fishing in anywhere between 12 and 8 feet of water I would say down here it's a little bit shallower but let me tell you guys after a long day mowing it really wasn't that long of a day but it was a hot day sweating for no reason no matter what you're doing all right zip it earlier we had a little bit of a breeze the breeze is starting to die down but it's still kind of there it feels really good just to be out here chillaxing for sure Can't even zip it so zip just like the last cash fishing video, it's hard to do at night. Back Look, up. I'm Zippy Longstockings. But if we get on into one... When a problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. We're going to let you guys get on into it. Subtitle, zip it. I don't usually talk like... I want you... I don't usually talk like... Stop. I don't usually talk like... I don't usually... Zip it. I don't, oh, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, like that, but I watched a YouTube video once and the guy talked like that and he caught a lot of catfish. That's what I'm calling it. Zip it. All right, we're coming back at you. I think this one's the same one you caught last time, Andy. It might be. Oh, get it up here. Look at it. Oh, yes. Yes. Is that 30s or 40s? How old do you think I think you caught a bluegill, dude. Yes, you did. That's awesome. I don't want to touch this. It is kind of nasty. It's very nasty. Your bluegill is still pretty lively. What did he do? Just wrapped around it. What are we doing? Undoing ourselves. Hey, stop right there. Can you bring a sawzall with you? Yeah, the fog. Here we go. <sighs> So huh? You don't think he's big? You just bent your rod completely over. What? <laughs> Four. Four? Channel. Three five. Got a big mouth on him. Man, he's hooked good too. 
Quickly lay this out. I got everything here, man. Well, he's, he's big enough that I can't really. All right, what well, we got? 20, 22 inches. I was like almost asleep too when he bit. Now you went straight hook on this, right? Yeah, just a regular old. I was way off. We were both way off. His head's huge. His head's huge. 75. His head's huge, but he doesn't weigh anything. He does have a big head. Say goodbye, fish. But I do want you to know that tonight is a very slow night. The wind is probably a constant 10 miles an hour, so the boat's moving around quite a bit. Uh, we're able to keep our lines tight, but that's the first cat that we caught all night. It's just a slow night. These things are gonna happen, and hopefully I'll get back with you. I'm sitting here watching Cut and Clean on the YouTube. Got my fishing lines wrapped around my toes so I can feel a bite, and I think I got a bite. Then you guess I'm going on there? Or your bluegill's bored and he's feeling like exercising a little bit. I don't think you got anything. Except for a circle hook. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. You got oh, it. I think it's a good rock. I you, think it's a good rock. You, you just entered Snag City. Population <laughs> you. Huh. Are you bringing the rock in? You got one of them log fish that I had earlier. Where you say that story that their moms tell them? Yeah. Well, yeah, the bluegills, before they grow up, their moms say, when you get in trouble, just wrap yourself around a log. Yeah. But hey, yeah. I do have a fish. It might not be a catfish. It is a catfish. Do you really? Yeah. Is it all tangled up in some crap? What do you got going on there? You got a stick and a fish? You got I a stick fish and I a fish? I, I've actually got a stick. Stick fish and a fish. For the first time, we'll just let that one bend over like that. And I'm not going to lie, guys. When I had mine earlier, I was literally sleeping on the front of the boat. It's nice bringing up a stick every single time. Especially one that won't break. Like that. Like that. This, boys and girls, is a... You know, it, it's weird. It's weird. Look how big this head is. Yeah, he's got a ginormous nog on on him. I mean, that's a lot of meat. How much did mine weigh? That's all that matters. That's all that anyone cares about. And I thought that this was a blue cat just because of his head. I think it's a Chanel. But it's definitely a channel. No, it's a, a Chanel. A Chanel. A Chanel. You can tell by the color of his body. I don't know how to... I do know how to count, but I don't know the number of fins, but that's one way you tell. 16.3. 16.3. What was I, 270 or 235? 275. Ooh, we busted the three mark. What, three oh, what? Just catching giants, dude. Three oh, wait, that can't be right. Yes, there, that's. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Where are we at, 308? Yeah, a little over three. Here he goes. Here he goes. You just push it open. Or you undo it. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Pretty anticlimactic release. I've been sitting here for five minutes. I just had a bite. And uh, it took my rod tip down. And I just sat here and let it sit to see if I had something. And nothing was there. I let line out to uh, slack it out to see if my bluegill was still there. Couldn't feel anything. Get a couple cranks on here. And uh, anyway, we're getting ready to wrap the night up, so I'm bringing my line in. And as soon as I start reeling, this guy's just sitting on my my hook for probably five minutes. It's nothing big, but I'm bringing it up.
Well, I'd like to say it's nothing big, but... Another flathead, dude. Is it? Oh my god, if it's not, it's... Hot dog. So we're obviously extremely prepared. <laughs> He's got herpes or something going on there. Yeah, I saw that. Good set right in the corner of the mouth. God, I just love their tails. It's so weird. Because he didn't do nothing. No, he he sat completely still. Just down there chilling. Zeroed out. I'm not expecting too much out of him. I really don't know what to expect. Six, eight. Really? Seven, four. Yeah, I got something going on in mine. <laughs> you verify that? Seven, four. Seven, thirty-eight. Seven, thirty-eight. I casted this there. Yeah, it was cleared. <laughs> I was over here on the other side of the boat. Still alive and healthy. Yeah. That's what happens when the lines are slack, man. It's a lot more difficult to figure out what's going on. What you got, 738? 738, yeah. I, I got apologize for the lack of enthusiasm, guys. I was literally sleeping. Man, a couple of things. This is my second flathead that I've ever caught on rod and reel. Just an absolute gorgeous fish. Yeah. Look how beautiful that tail is. I, I don't know why. I just love their tails. Especially when they paint them out. It's just like pink. Beautiful fella. Just grabbed my bait, sat down on the bottom. No movement at all until I started to reel him in. Yeah. But the circle hook did its job. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos like this, stick around G4 Outdoors for some more because it's only going to get better. We're just starting, actually learning how to catch different fish differently. Fairly large fish. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around another episode of G4 Outdoors. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you like this video at night or not. Have a good one. I'm out. I wonder if I ought to keep that from the bed. It's like he would eat it? He said they're the best. Alright. like me, can't get into the book. It talks girls, green grass, and gum.